this is a ridiculously CC heavy team from Team Dignitas, and playing something like Nami, if you ever get caught by one, you're almost certainly going down. Absolutely the case. The taunt down, hoping to find a little bit more. Nice oh, flash, still so gonna well land. Done. Beautiful by Smith, but he's got a slow here. This Shen, can they get him under the turret? It's gonna be close. Yes, he does. The violent tendencies do what the... They were actually in a position where they could have perhaps won that fight. And Big now Ooh. under trouble. A lot of damage. The flash fall for Autotech gets the Shen ulti out, and Law dodges the bubble. Ole, not long for the world. The kill comes through. Big sadly gets the kill on the support, but still one kill is nice to have. That was really well done, actually. Both are going to be dove down here to this one. Going to miss. Bounce. Yeah, that's going to be all the damage they need. He is gone for a certain. Shrimp gets the kill. The turret's going to be next up. Really well done. Utilizing that level six on the... He's going to try to maybe face tank the... Uh, actually, Flame doesn't have it. There's really no way out. Lands the binding a little bit early, but the Ash are going to come down. That's going to force the dismount. Now, can Flame get away? Lands some autos. Nope. Lands the pocket pistol. Slowed down by Ash. And he's got no way out, and he cannot remount in time. Lod gets the kill. And the head start is continuing. Ooh, nice. Flash over the bottom, look for the root, look for the team fight. Now the flash forward by Big is gonna find himself at least one stun, but here comes Galio. Stops the bounce, but Cody's not gonna lose his life first without flash available. One for zero so far. Nice knockback on Akeen means Flame gonna chase down for this kill. Pobos is running down to the wings, but the CC is there to keep Keen alive. A couple more seconds, but Ole finally gets a shutdown. Well, it's here now. Smithy forced to run away, gonna get over the wall. Pobos there finds himself one taunt Flame. Back and forth, back and forth, does remount. Feel the damage, his shield is enough, but Shrimp comes back in for a bit more. Knocked up into the air, the knockback is there. Well played by Smithy, and a Bloblitz they go. A taunt onto Sunday. Bubble gonna land as well. All the CC they need to kick off the tanks, just maybe. As Ignite burns down on the Shen, and they're not quite gonna oh, get him, oh, oh. but Shrimp is still dead. They bought the time they needed. One top, but it still means that Keen is caught out. He receives yeah, the Shen for his troubles. Cody Sun forced to Q's to run away. One more shot would kill him, but he can't find a Pobolt. They're heroically entrances and exits the team fight there, but it's still a death of two as Cody Sun did, in fact, burn down. A double kill for Keen. Yeah. Oh, and Keen now, you sure the TP's coming in, but what are you gonna do? Who's gonna even steal it? Flame can't jump wall for the first half of his E. The Galio cannot either. There's literally nothing to be gained. He satchels over the wall and knocks up one, but there's no team fight around. He's slowed by Ash and I double by some time, but Black Shield keeps Lod kicking. He's gonna get that kill picked up. I don't know what that TP was about. Literally, it was unstealable. Yeah, I think it's just one of those. And then look to do something. Ooh, they're gonna find Lod to a big taunt there as well, but Shrimp is gonna buy a bit more time. And big in the front lines, though, should be running away with this. And there's the knockback. Can they kill him in time? And they can't. Here comes some. They push the dodge zone. Looking for a taunt as well. But they're buying a bit more time. The auto's coming in. They're going to knock down Xmithy. It's a one for one so far. Those supports have dropped for the IMT jungler. The team fight still seemingly won by Team Nugentop. So they did not respond. They were confident that they could get away. So now they have that pressure. We're seeing Immortals look for the engage. And they're going to look for a little bit of something on this one. Keen knocked around for a couple more seconds. And now Shrimp in the front line. Looking for plenty to do. Let's bounce. Brings in the back line. And Cody's not going to lose his life for it. Couldn't get away. His flash was down. And this easy to be found is Xmithy trying to run for his life. One more shot would kill him and someday and Keen can make that happen and pull out their next up to die. There's no way out. A double kill for a lot in the back line. And now only two members alive for Immortals. Team Dignitas have the Baron, they have the mid lane. They have exactly it. optimal shot call you could make right here. And it's Team Dignitas. It's it's so funny thinking about it because this this has been a team who's reshaped what a team kill the turret. They're gonna try for the engage right there. They find him. Law gets shot up. He's rooted in place. The damage happened coming through, but he gets away and he flashed the safety. Lot is just barely up the line. Here comes Let's Bounce, and one kill picked up already. It's a trade, though, as Lot has died. And a second kill comes in for Immortal, they're losing their players as well. Xmithy also drops up the map. 3v3, knock up is there. They're gonna find Cody Sun. That's the kill picked up. Someday leads the charge for a second kill in for Keen, and now it is a 3v1. Ole left alone inside the base, and now well, gonna be turning into sushi soon enough as the rest of that squad ready to push in with Baron up Super Minions. And game one will go to Team Digadas in this battle for first place. There may only be one team left with a single loss, and it just might be this squad right here in the red as they knock down the final Nexus turret next to itself to follow. One more game goes in. Team Dignitas will own first place. Such a well-played game one from them. Immortals looking incredibly dominant against CLG yesterday, but Dignitas making a lot this of time. one look pretty easy. And yeah, they're, they're <laughs> adding a little style to the substance there. And getting calls a bit earlier than they stopped hitting the Nexus. I think we faked that reaction for a second there, but honestly, it was a well-played game. Team Liquid Immortals. Immortals and a good mix of damage types, a good mix of crowd control, and we'll see if they can make this one happen. The Onus may just be on Flame to get early leads against Sun. Look at the damage up on that turret. It's going to be rushed oh, back here, but Flame, side, though. Not sure if Flame is killable, though. He's going to try to hug the wall, get away from some of these. Oh, that was so well done. All the CC. Now, Shrimp's going to force the dodge the aggro. 
All the vitals do get proc, but Flame by a lot more time gets the first kill, and someday almost dies the turret as well. The significant outplay out of Flame in the top. and the turret reset. He needs to dive down towards the bottom members. Holds up, means he's gonna land a oh, stun here on his shrimp, buying a bit more time. Stun's gonna land there, gets the big heal lick. It's gonna be big, who's okay though. And now the float back on his shrimp, and again, he just crushes down the spider. Itsy Bitsy, the water spout is gone. The flash. The chase, someday wants him, the spell oh, he's gonna land. Stun. He's put he's in the out. grand duel and there's no damage. You have a play like that. And now Lod, hey, can he outplay the 1v2? Can he do what Flame did? Lod gets the stun and a Poe Belter and now he's got some damage up but he flashed the run away but Body Slam is there and he can't do what Flame did. 3-0 Immortals. Yep, not much chance there. He does expend the summoners. I've had so many games where it's like, ah, I'll play the Fiora. I got seven kills on her and then she kills you. Yeah, well, speaking of kills though, Smithy running low on Oh, oh my Smithy! god! That blow, like, the freaking explosive cast was insane! Bow down to the it's new. It's through this Fiora, but it's gonna be a project. Here comes the stun, and oh no, Paul Belter, he's gonna die! He's running, but okay, he's not gonna die. He's oh, gonna land the charm. charm, and he's gonna get away with it. Immortals has refused to actually get killed by anything. Nice block by Dig, the flash Q, now he is gonna be going down, uh, maybe, yes. Barely gets it, in spite the charm coming in, and finally a kill on the board for Team Dig and Thoth. He actually guessed where the TV was gonna be coming out, and Olay catches him. Gets them. the stun as well, so Someday's now out of time, and he's out of places to go for. He's gonna jump across this one, he does have flash available, the root is in. There's no way out, Flame gets up a killing spree. Olay with a really good guess there. I mean, like they're gonna get crowd here. He puts in the shield, puts up the defensive stats, only 230 damage on that one, but the body is gonna be there. Another shield from Orianna, but Explosive Cast gonna put her against the wall. They're gonna get the one picked up, though. Shrimp makes it happen. The trade route is in, but they get themselves a kill. Now Dignitas sequestered on the wrong side of the map. Can Immortals make the rest of the dive happen? Someday is in base right now. He's far away. Lod wants in, gonna dodge away from the charm. Ulti comes in, gonna find the stun on a bow belter. Gonna get a few more auto attacks in, but not the damage. And that's gonna be two more picked up under that one. The chase is on, and Orianna gonna fall away as well and turn into pieces there. Double kill, five and zero oh for Flame. Unlikely bunch of players to be this good, as Someday is gonna repost a root, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna drop for that one. Cody Sun getting his second kill of the game. It's just such a great meteoric rise by player 15. CLG wins summer split. Oh, they're looking. King gets caught. Here comes Smithy. And they're gonna look for the stun. There's Big putting up the shield, preventing the stun to come through at all. Nice knockback on it too, though. It's a couple of squishies. Flash coming out. They're gonna land the charm, and down he goes. Cody Sun lands a snipe. He wants a bit more. It'll be a very risky contest. We'll see if they can make the magic happen. Uh, they might just try it. Big is in the front line, lands the knockback into this one. No smite is around, but maybe it's gonna come through. They're gonna go back in for the re-engage, and Big's gonna drop. That's a one for zero. 5v2 inside the Baron pit. The health bar is healthy enough. They're gonna find the stun and a key. He's not gonna land just yet. They can take him down before the spell comes up. Smithy is low. He smites it. He's gonna stay alive. He takes down the Baron, and someday is next up. That's the delayed ace plus the Baron for Immortals. Very well done, dancing back and forth. Yet again, can they take him out? They're gonna find a stun, they're gonna find a root, they're gonna find all the damage they need. Cody's oh. under the knife. Snipey is dominating. And big next up on the chopping block, and he has chopped down a kill for Poe through his second of the game. Bot lane two. He's kind of checking the boxes right now, pushing down the mid lane. They know someday was top right now. He's recalling, but they land the charm. They land the kill on the big flame. Gets his sixth of the game now onto this one. One third of the kills all belong to flame, and rightly so. Mid lane gonna fall here quickly. 5v4, slow on the key, and they look for the root. They force the flash out. Now, can he get the charm? Nope, King gonna juke up, and he shot down, but the big stun is there, and Shrimp oh. dies without being able to act at all. Flame, though, running out of health, but a temper phase buys a bit more time on the lot. They're gonna land nothing, actually, too early oh, in the CC, but here comes the re-engage. A big hit comes in for two kills, and Team Digadon's looking for signs of life, but they can't quite find any more of the two kills. All they're gonna get. That was an amazing shockwave from Keen. That, uh, while Dignitas backs up, Flynn just kills his opponent. And the turrets keep falling on the other side of the map. Now, Someday gonna be in a bad way right here. Jukes around, tries to buy a bit more time. Will drop down to the Spirit Rush of Poe Belts, or one for zero on that one. Now missing a top laner for 40 seconds. Team Dignitas looking for the 28 minute win. Mortelson gonna push in for a little bit more. No regen, no ocean drinks, just the stats. One turret shut down, a bit of damage and a big. Have to wait a little bit longer here as Baron Buff is timed out. It's just wave through and waiting for the next minion wave. Bot lane is here. Maybe the foot, maybe the fight comes in. Flash gonna land oh, the double nice stun. stun. Here comes the body slam. His explosive cast one picked up. Shotgun catches three though. And the follow-up from the Brom as well. They're gonna look for damage on big then on strip. The crit is in 750. The shutdowns come through thick and fast and furious. That's only Keen left alive. And he's gonna find himself stunned up inside the fountain steps. And the chase down is there. Cody Slide oh, oh. with the flourish at the very end gets the kill. A TP for Swag. Flame saying we got this one in the bag. 24 to 4, under 28 minutes. A smashing from Immortals. Oh, we are going to a game three. Pink class looking very dominant in game number one.
but Immortals answer back with just an amazing performance across the board. Everyone doing very well. You have to look at Flame though. This is, you know, J4 and and the Olaf and the Galio. Most of their damage is front loaded. Most of their damage is, is kind of working off of base. So he has to take the back foot because the matchup here comes to play on the top side though. Ghost is on. They want Sunday. He's got Flash. Doesn't dodge the axe. Now there's no way out for this one. Sunday, who gets the kill? He's going to toss it over to Flame. No, it's going to be. Oh, Shrimp's Xfinity going in. That's going to be a one way Shrimp trip. is just going to die. He's going to flash for the knockup. What? The damage just isn't there. He gives away the double buffs to Flame. Great. Once somebody had already died. And it wasn't like it was oh, a sick wow. flame. Oh, wow, the damage is there right there for Ole. He doesn't even need the ignite. He flashed, then the champion is gone. Yeah, I don't think that he... Minute and 50 oh, they're going to look for down. a 2v2 here. Smith is back for it. Something too early, five. though. The Kataka is going to buy a bit of time. The shield is there. Here comes Galio, though. The heroic entrance buys a few more seconds. And Shrimp going to get a knockup, but there's no follow-through to be had. Here comes the damage. Smith gets one for himself. And Shrimp, where is he going to go? It's 13 seconds. The tunnel cooldown. The kill oh comes in. God. A double for Smithy. Three and... And if you're down the most gold anyone's been against Immortals all split. Your chances are about 3% right here. And now the nice knock up there. Lot's still getting to jump away, but he's on the wrong side of this. He's got flash, but it's not going to mean anything. Shut down and Cody Sun gets his first kill of the game. I mean, Lod was like not even really doing that well 1v1 against the support Lulu at this point. Yeah, two more and it gets worse. Rough. Couple more snipes on a shrimp. He's going to stay alive on this one though. Forever. Ooh, nice taunt flash gonna be there on Nakeen. He's gonna go for some damage back. This one for the knockups are there. The wild growth makes the kill come through. Ole finds that one. Shrimp squishy, but gets some decent damage to pull out there. He's not gonna ult for it. Had the chance to go for more damage. Doesn't want the kill though here. And the taunt's gonna land. Black shield buys some time. And Lot is losing all of his health bar right there. Flashes, jumps away. Heal staying alive on this one. A big next up, and it's gonna be the rampage now for Xmithy. The curtain call is in. The first shot's gonna land. He only needed one bullet. Cody's son can't count the, the miracle bind. There's always a chance. You never say never. And it goes down to Xmithy, of course. He can never miss a spite this game. He's been perfect. Immaculate. And now Big is running out of options. Redemption for the kill! Get him! Oh. Yeah! 3-0 and 3 in the swag <laughs> dance. The last fight. The last stand for this one. Shrimp in the back line. The flash to follow they want. And they're going to pick up early. No, they can't. The wild growth in the shutdown finally comes through thanks to the wreck side. But the trade kill is already in as he's fallen off this one. But both are buying a bit more time. A double kill in for Cody Sun himself. And someday just doesn't have the damage. Galley with a rogue is back into the front line, but it's already three missing. It's a 4v2, the perfect. And the Nexus turrets are already falling right now. Four versus two inside the base. The knockup once again for Flame, who did so much work in game two this series. The big plays in game three as well. Some days, days are numbered. Big's gonna fall flat. He's gone on this one. Expensive refuses to die. He is immortal himself. Fitting in so well in the new lineup here. 14 to one in kills, but maybe the Nexus actually won't die. Oh, Just the chase in lot. Gets the one auto attack, but the trade kills in for the taunt, the knockup on the shrimp. They might trade that one back in. He's trying to make it happen, but he's going to fall. And now once again, it is two versus four inside the base as Ole runs down the mid lane to join back in again. Top lane inhibitor to fall pretty shortly, but it looks like this will be a bit of a delay of game. The Immortals will not win just yet. They are staying around though, looking for someday. Over chasing a little bit, one more shot. He gets the arm of the flash to follow, but this could be a trade. A slight over saying the shutdown comes through, but Walter taunts a black shield. But it is still an open nexus. The trade of focus. Do you go for the nexus? Do you go for the champions? And finally, they do go for the major objective there as Vig is going to limp back to the fountain. And Immortals waiting to close it out. They are savoring their victory. One more kill in for Flame. The Thunderlord triggers. And Immortals close week four as the number one team in North America. The undisputed best team. Close it out with the fastest game this split. Dignitas hardly could have got out of this one faster if they surrendered. Immortals <laughs> dominated them so badly. And sure, they gave up a couple of kills at the end, but how much more can you ask for? These last two games were complete and total domination from the Immortals squad. They got bested in game number one, but they came back with a vengeance. And these guys are on fire. I mean, not only are they number one in the standings, but they just look like the best team.